Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Naman here with us who has been recently placed at HSPC as a part of his campus placements at VIT and he is here to share his interview experience with us. Now we all know HSBC is a very popular bank and before we move forward and talk to Naman let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students uh, who had a CGP of 6 or 60% in 10th, 12th and in the pursuing degree were eligible provided they had no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Naman. Hi Naman, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations. Thank you. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, so I'm Naman, a fourth year student from VIT Vellur. I'm located in Kanpur. Can you tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they had? Yeah, so there were four rounds. Uh, HSBC visited VIT on 26th of October. The eligibility criteria was pretty realized. You have to have 60% in your 10th, 12th and ongoing BTEC degree. That's it. And on 9th of uh, September, you had your first technical assessment. Uh, it consists of paper 1 and paper 2. Okay. Uh, you were uh, eligible to sit for paper 2 subjected uh, on subjected to clearing paper 1, right? Okay. So the paper 1 consisted of uh, reasoning, English assessment and your technical questions. Okay. The paper 2 had two coding questions which were of medium difficulty. Upon clearing that, so selected students were asked to give a value assessment test on 15th of so September. The value assessment test was very easy. It was based on your common sense. There was specific scenario related questions right they were checking the fit for their corporate culture that's it and we had our uh, pre-placement talk on 28th of september which consists of basically telling them what hsbc does how much it spends on technology what were its previous technological project products so yeah and they gave us like about a month to prepare for their interview so now I took a little risk in preparing for the interviews. That is, I did not sit for any other companies throughout the October. Oh. What I did was I contacted my seniors. I scrolled through gigs for gigs for whatever topics they might ask. I made an exhaustive list and I refreshed all the resources that I had uh, to prepare for those particular topics. That is your operating system, computer network, DBMS and things like that. And of most importantly, loops. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One more thing, they, uh, the seniors advised me to go through every little detail of my resume as HSBC interviews tend to be very resume oriented. Okay. And the first week of number I had my interview and must say it was fairly easy. The technical interview asked me about uh, how to evaluate any algorithm. He asked me about what frameworks I have worked upon and if there are any security features that are present in Django. And being from an electrical background, he asked me why I was not pursuing electrical engineer, rather I was switching to an IT company. So these questions were there, which were very basic in nature, I guess. And next up, there was the HR interview. He asked me about my experience in value. He quizzed me about my projects in, that I mentioned in the resume. And he gave me a basic specific scenario based question that is, uh, I was assigned a call a corporate project with two other teammates that have an ongoing feud. So I have to maintain the communication for the ongoing project. How would I achieve that? So these were the questions I was asked. I was I answered them pretty satisfactorily and out of four hundred students, twenty five students was shortlisted at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really great. Congratulations once again. Uh, do you have any suggestions for juniors or people who want to get into uh, yeah, yeah. I can advise about HSBC. So about HSBC, the suggestion is keep it simple. Don't exaggerate on your resume because they would be going through it pretty extensively, right? And get your basics correct. That is your concepts. Uh, that is pillar of, of oops and uh, your co basic concept in OS. So if as far as you get your basics right, the cracking HSBC is very easy. Uh, yeah. Thank you again for sharing your experience and your suggestions and yeah, thank you. Yeah.